Like and subscribe in the next 5 seconds to get good luck. Yo, what's up guys, welcome back to another video. So in today's video guys, I'm on Lumber Tycoon 2 and I've got a brand new GUI for you guys in today's video. And I'll be reviewing this and rating it out of 10 by the end of the video. That's what I usually do on the channel. And today's video guys, I'll be reviewing Blood GUI version 5. I don't know if this GUI is released yet, but Oddy, the creator of Blood GUI, has sent me this version 5. And yeah, I'm going to be trying it out and recording it, obviously. I don't know if I actually don't even know if I'm allowed to record this, but I'm going to record it just in case because I usually like to record my actual genuine reaction to the GUI. And you know, if I liked it or not, I'll still put their Discord server in the description down below, guys. Blood GUI Discord server you can get more updates and you know more releases through there i think there's like 2000 people in there right now so make sure to go ahead and join it if you haven't already and speaking of discord servers guys make sure to join my discord server as well link will be in the description as well but yeah if you're brand new to the channel guys make sure to subscribe with that post notification on we're trying to 50k subscribers by the end of the year and also make sure to leave a like on this video as well which shows me that you enjoyed this video or if it helped you in any way possible and yeah let's jump right into it guys so the executor i'll be using in today's video is sentinel if you want to purchase sentinel i'll put a purchase link in the description down below it is 15 dollars and the best executor for its price guys especially with like the merge that happened recently i don't know what actually happens because you know i'm not really up to date with executor news and roblox executor news and stuff like that but i heard that sentinel and proto smasher merged or something like that which is actually huge news and i'm very excited for version 3 guys you need to also get the script guys to use this obviously and the script will be in the description down below will be a paste bin link and then after that all you need to do is paste in the script in your executor then after that you need to attach i've got auto attach turned on in the settings now i'm sorted all i need to do now is execute and there we go guys the blood ui came up and there we go the blood ui whoa okay it looks so different now oh my gosh it's like i don't know rectangle shaped this is a very odd shaped g UI. I've never seen it like this before. I mean, it's actually pretty cool. I can just put it in the bottom corner like this now and I can do my things. That is actually pretty decent. But one thing I can see already is the color of the GUI. It's not red. It's usually red because, you know, that's the theme of Blood GUI. The main creator of this GUI is Oddy, if you guys don't know him already. And a special thanks to Bart, Jahiro, Hacker. Huge shout out to these guys for also helping him. Detorious, which is another person he is shouting out for, the Finity GUI. I, I'm not too sure what that is. I think that could be the UI. And also Tester, Limit 115 and showcase the JBT. Oh, I didn't even see that. All right, that's pretty cool. I'm on the GUI itself. Let's go. <laughs> and also, here is their Discord server code as well, so you guys can join their server. But yeah, we're going to begin with player tools, guys. You know, I'll, I'll give you a quick summary of each feature. So, walk speed, if you guys don't know what it is, it just increases your speed. Same with jump power and same with hip height and hip height if you guys don't know what that is it's just where you float pretty much gravity you can put that to whatever you want as well i'm not too bothered about gravity infinite jump if we turn this on it just means that you can jump forever guys so as you can see i can just spam jump and i will jump fly let's turn that on and as you can see fly and oh they added a notification feature as well so yeah as you can see i can fly now no clip let's turn that on as well and oh no i'm <laughs> i'm pretty much floating with no clip clip and fly on so that's another thing fly and no clip doesn't work together which is annoying anti-kick if you run this on guys that means you cannot get kicked from the kick script if you guys don't know what that is it's pretty much where you hold a axe in your hand and you can kick anyone you want to in the server by turning this on guys that will allow you to have an anti-kick and you cannot be kicked from the server by using that script in gui such as bark ancestor etc etc there's also chat tools where you can spy on people's private messages chat enabled and what wait what oh you can turn off chat what is the point of that i guess it's a feature that's a new feature right there i'm not too sure why you would want that just getting rid of chat and emojis if you turn this on and i think there's more information about emojis in their discord server where you can type in emojis in the roblox chat anti-fk that will give you anti-fk pretty much where you will not be kicked 
4, being idle for 30 minutes. Blacklist all, that will blacklist everyone on your server. Anti-blacklist, that will give you anti-blacklist pretty much if you get blacklisted by someone, you can still go into their base. And reset character, you can reset your character. Flashlight, let's turn this on press F and that gives you a human flashlight what the heck I don't know what the heck that does move everything what the heck does this do holy crap what's all this I'm so confused what the heck was that all right let's go to base tools and that will give you free land if you press this and then max land if you haven't got max land already let me put it to this side actually so it's better blueprints that will give you every single blueprint in the game gray wood feature will just make you color in your blueprints gray Pink wires, that will basically give you pink wires as well. So you can do this to any wire, I'm pretty sure. Clear entire base, that will wipe your entire base for you. Clear blueprints will just clear out the blueprints, nothing else. And clear structures will only clear out the structures in your base. I'm not too sure what structures are, to be fair. And what the heck is all this coming to me? What the heck? Silicali. Okay, I'm not even going to try. It's pretty much beetles. If you press this, you will get beetles right here. Let's go to waypoints. That will mean you can go to anywhere you want to, basically. You will get tons of lists of people's names. So I'm just going to select this one. TP to his base. There we go. I have TP's to his base right here. And uh, teleport to player. I can teleport to him, as you can see right there. Pretty cool. And other features such as teleporting to places. You can go to den. You can go anywhere you want to as long as it says here, guys. And there's more local right here guys if you scroll down so let's go to wood tools and you can remove all trees that will delete every single tree in the game TP all trees that will TP trees that you cut down to your base TP all planks that will TP all of the planks you have in your base to wherever you are standing so if I'm standing right here it will teleport the planks from my base to here mod wood that will mod wood I've made a separate video on this so go check that out bring tree Ooh, so you can type in your name oh it's automatically set to your name put the quantity of how many trees you want so I'm just gonna put to one and there's all these list of trees right here guys let's just select green wood and it's going to take me to green wood i'm going to get my axe out right and it's going to chop the green wood i'm pretty sure is it going to do it for me oh yeah it's automatically chopping as you can see right there and it's going to tp back to my base with the tree i'm pretty sure yo that is so overpowered man and obviously i don't have a base loaded wait do i i don't know why he teleported to that guy's base i'm not too sure about this feature guys but if i find out more about it then i will record it or let you guys know in a separate video and there's hard dragger oh i haven't ha i haven't seen a hard dragger in ages and this is the lone cave tree this is where you can pretty much spawn in a whole entire end times tree for free pretty much and i've made a separate video on this as well so go check that out let's go to auto buy then item quantity put the amount of items you want to tp obviously or just purchase and i'm just going to put it to one and then what shall we select guys so we'll get something from bob shack and yeah let's just get dynamite and press get item and it's going to take me to the bob shack and buy the item and then teleport it back to my base and what the heck did you guys just see that i swear that it said limited item or limited stock in the bob shack let's actually go back to the bob shack and let's check that out so let me go to bob shack real quick i swear that's back that little sign oh yeah guys look it's actually back what the heck that is a sign right there that the new items that were leaked are coming very soon guys and also i know there's some controversy around that video that i recorded and yeah i don't think the people actually understand that video i didn't literally hack it into the game it's just leaked items i can't save it into my account or anything like that i just showed it how it would look like once it's in the game so i don't think the legit gamers understood the concept of that video or that part of the video it was literally just a representation of the items that will soon come like i can't save it other people can't see it or anything like that so yeah there's no benefit of doing that i think they think that you can like hack it in and get early access or something like that yeah you guys can't do that i can't even pick it up or open it up or anything like that but anyway enough of that let's carry on with the gui review so i ought to buy that sorted and uh, what else should we do base sorter that will sort out your base guys i've already made a separate video on this as well oh my gosh 
as yeah the, these are so confusing if you look at it right now but i've made separate videos on it all the features i've said i've you know already made a video on it i'll link it in the description down below guys to all those videos so you guys can check it out for yourself so you don't get confused because yeah the video is getting too long i don't want to record for ages and ages and let's go to mods these are pretty much mods where you can spawn and stuff to make your life easier for example remove water that'll remove every bit of water in the game lava that'll remove lava from your game and lava boulders etc etc you guys will get what i mean and you can also spectate players and which is pretty cool actually you can increase your fov guys what the heck is these trees follow me around for oh my gosh this is so annoying so yeah i would not suggest pressing that feature i don't know grief players or something like that and there's also graphic mods where you can remove the fog you can make it always Always night or always day obviously you want it day it's just a lot more brighter and you can improve the graphics by pressing this and that just made it worse oh my gosh and you can also make it hd by pressing this oh that looks so nice look at the definition on that base and then there's also car tools guys where you can increase the speed of your car you can spawn pink cars you can even rotate it around and you can even fly with your car and these are all the toggles for them bridge down bridge up basically you can put the bridge down oh there we go and then you can tp to places guys which is the tp to the trees so it's also tp'ing with your cars all oh, that's so overpowered so you can just sit in your car guys and you can tp to shops that would be so useful when the new items come out and there's some other locations right here and there's also trolls which i'm not going to go through in today's video because i've done it in the previous version of the gui but yeah that's pretty much it for the video guys that is the gui itself right there i'm not too sure if i like the shape of it <laughs> It's unique, that's what I'm trying to say. And yeah, obviously, I'm not going to rate this GUI. You, are, you guys already know what this GUI's rating is. It's probably like one of the best GUI's which are free in Lumber Tycoon 2 as of right now. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. Turn the post notification so you don't miss any other videos. And yeah, I'll see you in tomorrow's video, guys. Like, subscribe, and peace.